When both my husband Jay and sister Emily died of cancer, it was devastating for our families. Jay passed away first from colorectal cancer. Our daughters were six and two at the time. Um, and it's really hard to describe the kind of heartbreak that ensued after he passed away. You know, our hopes and dreams, what I thought was gonna be a long and happy life together just vanished into thin air after his nine month battle. And it was a shock when my sister called me just a couple of years later, having read the eulogy I had written about Jay at his funeral, my sister Emily called and said, I have pancreatic cancer and it's spread to all over my liver. So, you know, I think that it's hard to describe for people what it's like unless you've been there. And you have to rebuild your life. Thomas Jefferson once said, the earth is for the living and we're all terminal. So I wanted to try to have a full and happy life, even if, if it meant doing so without my husband. And I had two little girls who were depending on me. So I didn't really have the luxury or the time to put the covers over my head and give up. Yeah. I think people find a way to go on because they have to go on and they have no choice but to go on.